Hi, um, this is Michael. Um, haven't updated my uh, watch video for a while um, because uh, my two kids stay at home all the time and it can be very busy. Well, today I'm going to talk about the Rolex Pro 2 five digit references number 16570, the legendary one, in my opinion. Rolex may produce 100,000 Explore 2 over the years, but it is still a very special watch. Rolex launched almost all popular models in the early 50s. Submariner, GMT, Explore, uh, Malgoss, Air King, um, sadly, Explore 2 isn't one of them. Explore 2 is uh, is an unpopular one. You can walk into any other dealer to buy one with a decent discount years ago. Well, um, yesterday is yesterday. Uh, nowadays, it is hard to find it from an authorized dealer. Well, this first launched in 1971, reference number 1655. The export to um, feathered a large 24 hour hand and a fixed stainless steel bezel with 24 hours marking to serve as a, a AN PM indicator. The first generation export to 1655 lasted roughly 14 years until it was uh, discontinued in 1984 and uh, replaced by uh, reference number. 16550, which is a transitional model and uh, lasted about five years until it was discontinued in 1989. It is the most collectible watch in Explore 2 family if you could find one. The second generation Explore 2 16570, which uh, was a 40 millimeters version, that was produced for 22 years from 1989 through 2011. Well, uh, low key design, due time zone functionality, nearly indestructibility. The Explore 2 might be the most undervalued modern Rolex Pro watch out there. Over 22 years of production, the Explore 2 looks the same if you're not a professional. Rolex is a very conservative company. They do not like to change a lot. They just only modified and uh, it's barely notifi notified. There are a few changes over the year. Before 2016, the Explore 2 was powered by the caliber 3185. Um, post-2006, you will find the watch be to the reason of the updated caliber 3186 post 30 movements offer a 48 hours power reserve but the new hairspring on the 3186 promised a smoother overall performance reducing any wobble from the GMT hand um, the luminescence of the watch also underwent uh, overhaul during the middle 2000s changing from the trillion to luminova and then the super moon Nova. Well, enough history. Uh, let's take a look at, at this. I'm so lucky to have this one. I bought it uh, three months ago from a gentleman. He is a watch fan and they know how to take care of this watch. This is a unique timepiece. Caliber 3186, the same as the GMT Master 2. The engraved inner ring. Laser itch crystal, paracrom uh, hairspring, that is not all, the one I'm going to tell you, it is really set the watch apart from the rest of the Rolex, it has two sets of the serial number, yes you heard me right, the first one is located at 6 o'clock in the inner ring, and the second one you can find it between the legs at 6 o'clock. 16.570 is the previously generation, but it has all the feathers of the latest Explore 2. What I like the most, 40 millimeters case size. It just look better than the 42, and it's very classic, I think. Again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, suggestion, leave a comment below. Thank you.